Hello my friends and welcome back to the rabbit hole. Today's video is going to be my review and results using the new The Outset skincare brand. We are going to try on the regimen today. I'm going to talk about what it's been like to use these products and we're going to go over what makes these products a little different. You may have seen this brand on the Sephora website. They're getting quite a lot of advertising. They did send out PR. This was PR, but I am in no way obligated to post anything about them. You all picked this, so I'm happy to oblige. But this video will not be all about Scarlett Johansson because some of you know I am not the person to tell you anything about Scarlett Johansson. I think she looks very pretty, but that's, <laughs> that's really where my knowledge ends. <laughs> Which is all to tell you what this video won't be about. What it will be about is I'm gonna show you the full morning routine that I've been doing for the past couple of weeks, and then we're going to analyze the ingredients and talk a lot about why these are vegan collagen products, what's going on there. I think it's gonna be best if I show you the regimen and then we do the chatting. So let's do that. That. Of course, this is a very simple and straightforward routine, which I gotta say, that's very on trend right now. So we are starting with the Gentle Micellar Antioxidant Cleanser, which actually is a really nice cleanser. Check out the texture on this one. It's kind of a, a jelly, but almost an even more gelatinous jelly cleanser. Can you see that? Here, I think, what if we do this? Yeah, there we go. Can you see that texture? Look at that. Ugh, it's quite it's quite fun to use for once I have a bowl of water here so we can actually Apply this and I can rinse off without even getting up. I hope I think can I handle this? It's a nice cleanser though. It's very gentle. I'm adding some water now so you can see there's not it's really not too much of a foaming effect, but just a little tiny bit. There you go, it's foaming up a little bit. So yeah, it's a gentle cleanser. I personally, I don't use a cleanser as a makeup remover, but I feel like I might have some mascara left behind. Let's, let's see if I do. This could be potentially embarrassing. Oh, okay, okay, I actually got all my makeup off last night. We went to SeaWorld yesterday, and oh my goodness, I came home so tired, I don't, I barely remember doing my PM skincare routine. I barely remember it. Tell me why it is that people on Instagram look so cute when they're washing their face. I can't figure out how to look cute. Look, I'm just making a mess. I'm getting water absolutely everywhere. Okay, all right, I tried, I tried. But yeah, I was so tired. I was so tired when we got home. I just fell right to sleep. And then I woke up at three in the morning. I woke up, I was like, okay, I'm, I'm real energized. I'm ready to go. I look at the clock and it says three. The witching hour, I awakened at the witching hour. But it was so fun. Oh my goodness, I had so much fun. The penguins, ugh, I love the penguins. I could have stayed in there forever just listening to the sounds they make. I love the call of, I guess it's the emperor penguins. I think it's those specifically. It's just amazing. It's such a beautiful call. The only catch is, it was 32 degrees in there. I believe that SeaWorld should provide all attendees with a complimentary coat upon entering the penguins area. I've got it, no, I've got it. They just take the money they made from parking, which is between 30 to $50. Just take that money and buy a coat with that. So there we have it, first step is done. Let's move on, I did put on some lip gloss. Sometimes people call me out for that. Yes, I did put on lip gloss. <laughs> then we're moving on to the Firming Vegan Collagen Prep Serum. In some ways, I think this might be the product to try from this line, but more about that when we uh, get to the ingredient section. It's a really nice serum. It is a very nice, basic, fairly free of irritants serum. Just going to spread this all over my skin, which you know, from using that cleanser, it doesn't feel too dry. It really doesn't. I'm using one more pump for my forehead and my neck area. I do think I use more serum when I don't start with a toner. Which makes sense, it's easier to spread across your skin if it's more moist, right? So I guess I've been using a little more of this. That is a two week once daily usage, so I will say I don't feel like this will, when I'm, I'm holding it so awkwardly, <laughs> just dry my hands off here. So I guess if you were using this twice a day, it probably would only last you probably for about a month. It, it probably if you used it like this. If you used one pump, you might get two months from it. But that's it, super simple. Third step here is the Nourishing Squalane Daily Moisturizer. So I will tell you honestly, this is a little bit 
light if you have dry skin. I'm gonna take two pumps of this and I'm going to add one single drop of my Brujita oil, just one drop. I figured this one out in a matter of mere days. All right, you know how I've talked before about how companies tend to attempt to make a moisturizer for all skin types, but that's a very hard act to accomplish. Uh, I feel that with this one. I feel like you might like this a lot more if you have a more oily skin type, but it's not the end of the world if you do have dry skin because you can do what I just did and add one drop of oil. And I'm also taking this around my eye area. Eye cream is of course an optional step, so we'll just use this moisturizer right around my eyes. And that's it. Now, of course, of course, you do wanna go in with a sunscreen. I like to wait about 10 to 15 minutes after finishing my morning routine to do my sunscreen. So we'll save that for another day, but definitely, of course, follow with a sunscreen of your choice. But now it is time for us to take a closer look. We're gonna go over the ingredients for each one of these and I will tell you what I noticed, what I observed from these products. We'll talk about all of that. Okay, so let's start with the cleanser. This one is in plastic PET packaging. It did not come with the box, but the ingredients are all printed right here on the bottle, which I personally love as long as the ingredients are printed on a bottle. Every time I'm in my bathroom doing my skincare, I'm standing there reading the ingredients for the millionth time while I apply it. I don't know why, it's just a thing I do. Now they say this is clean, fragrance-free, vegan, cruelty-free, but I find it especially interesting that they're saying fragrance-free. When you look at the ingredients here, you do see some uh, ingredients that contribute to the scent. It does have some kind of a smell, but it's not, it's not very strong. Again, I have a weak nose, but to me it's not very strong. Uh, however, you know, we see orange fruit water, we see some rosemary in here. These are ingredients that, rosemary extract, these are ingredients that some people will say, well, that's a fragrance ingredient. And yet it's clearly printed on the packaging here, fragrance free. Well, what about the fragrance ingredients? The thing that's so interesting about, you know, ingredients like both orange fruit water and rosemary extract is you could argue for the benefits of those. You could say, you know, well, you're gonna get vitamins in orange fruit water, rosemary extract, that's gonna give you antioxidant activity, and it will, but those plants also naturally do contain molecules within the plant that contribute to fragrance. It's a product with gentle surfactants, again, lots of antioxidant-rich ingredients, lots of amino acids in this. As a whole, for me, with cleanser, I've said this so many times, I feel like the most important aspect is does it cleanse your skin thoroughly and does it leave your skin feeling non-stripped? And I, I think this one does that very well. I think it's surprisingly enjoyable to use. You might actually, can you even see the kind of jiggly, jelly texture that this one has? It's fun to use. I think that it's a well done product. Is it truly fragrance free? Is debatable, but it's an enjoyable product. Next up, the Firming Vegan Collagen Prep Serum. This is where things get a lot more interesting in my opinion. So they say this potent potion locks in healthy vitamins and fortifying collagen. Wait a minute, collagen is from animals? To firm, brighten, and prep skin for hydration, our hyaluroset complex acts as a botanical alternative to hyaluronic acid to nourish, plump, and smooth. That is a lot of interesting stuff going on here. So first of all, the collagen in here is a fully vegan form. I looked into this, it is by a company called Geltor. And what they did is they modeled this after jellyfish protein, a jellyfish protein that is similar to human collagen. And then they actually produced it via a fermentation process, making it ultimately a vegan product. Uh, they did run their own pilot study with this. I don't know the full details of the study because again, it's a manufacturer study as opposed to being in a published journal, but they said it's a pilot study. They said they did this with human participants and over the course of two weeks, the same length as my trial, their study participants saw an increase in skin elasticity, AKA anti-aging effects by 26%. And here's a limitation of human studies as somebody who has done human studies myself. That's all I've ever done. I've never done animal studies. I've always done human research. The problem is you need to screen out people that are already kind of doing what it is that you're testing. So for their pilot study, it's a pretty darn good chance that they said, you know, we don't want people who've been using a skincare routine. We need to find people who haven't been. 
And again, because we don't know the details of the study or even if there was a control at all, it's very possible that they could have taken 15 people who don't really have a skincare routine. They gave them this uh, Kalume formula and said, put this on your skin for two weeks. And then at the end, they measured this difference in skin elasticity. But keep in mind, that could be simply because maybe their formula has some other humectants like glycerin in it. You know, you do see an increase in skin elasticity with even very basic ingredients like glycerin. So again, it's a situation of you are kind of putting a lot of faith into the manufacturers. And I don't always, I don't always know if people recognize that skincare companies, our favorite skincare companies, are sold ingredients by the manufacturers of these ingredients. We're sold the products, they're sold the ingredients. So is it really something that is groundbreaking? It's difficult to say. Um, I will say if you're interested in trying it without spending the outset's prices, it's in Pacifica's vegan collagen products also. But yeah, just as a little bit of a spoiler for you, you know, human trials are considered the gold standard, but they have to be done in a, a specific way to really be helpful, which is also why I think, I truly think that human studies in conjunction with in vitro data can actually be the most helpful in having us understand the mechanism via those in vitro studies and whether that proves to be true in human skin via the clinical trials. But back to the ingredients list here, I would say this this looks great. This looks very non-irritating. I actually really like that for once we have new products to the market that don't have hyaluronic acid. There's not even niacinamide in this product. A lot of these ingredients that have just been trending out of control are not in this product, which stands out to me because, you know, great if those ingredients work for you, but you don't have a shortage of products to choose from. Instead, it's the people who say, oh, I actually can't use those ingredients who kind of have a difficult time shopping for skincare. So this Hyluro set that we were talking about when we read the description of this, get this. This is the uh, trademarked formula within the Outset's products. The Outset took out their own trademark back in May of 2021. This brand has obviously been in development for a while. And what they're doing, and we can see this in the ingredients list, they're using cassia and gustifolia seed polysaccharide. We're gonna talk more about polysaccharides when I get to that, uh, those three plant ingredients breakdown. But basically, polysaccharides are these long chains found in plants. It's often, uh, starches are polysaccharides. These are potentially hydrating ingredients on our skin. We see other plant extracts in here as well. We have some hardy orange extract, some quinoa seed extract. We have some oils, sunflower oil. And again, overall, it's a non-irritating formula. So I think that this product does actually really stand out to me as something that is actually different to the market. It is not what we've seen on repeat. It's a vegan, cruelty-free approach to alternatives to hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, all the common skincare ingredients. And even though I don't think it did anything, uh, you know, too intense for my skin, I am, I am really happy with my skin after two weeks of using this. And ultimately, that one is my favorite product. I think if you're only gonna try one product, I would go with this serum. But we've got one more product to talk about, and that is the Nourishing Squalane Daily Moisturizer that I said was a little bit light for my skin type. But maybe your ears perked up if you're more combo to oily than I am. So let's go ahead and take a look at the ingredients here. Uh, we'll start with the description. Long lasting 24 hour hydration, not so much for me, but again, dry skin type here. To soothe and protect skin from the pollution and free radicals that contribute to aging. Again, our hyaluroset complex acts as a botanical alternative to hyaluronic acid to nourish, plump, and smooth. Did I just say plump? I just said plump. In contrast to the serum, which had that vegan collagen ingredient, we do not see that in this product. Instead, we see a focus on humectant ingredients. So we have, you know, basic humectants like glycerin. We have some fatty alcohols in here. Ceteral alcohol is not a drying alcohol. Instead, it's a hydrating alcohol. We have that same hydrating polysaccharide system going on in this product. We have avocado oil, safflower oil, coconut oil. Coconut oil ends up being kind of tricky. It seems to work for some people and not for others. I emphasize to you, coconut oil actually works for me, so don't necessarily uh, write it off, but it is definitely one to patch test. 
Again, a lot of antioxidant rich ingredients. So in this description here where they said to protect skin from pollution and free radicals, that's exactly what antioxidant rich ingredients do. And free radicals are all around us in the form of pollution. They are in UV light. And so adding in antioxidants into your routine, especially in the AM steps in, you know, before your sunscreen step, it can potentially have added benefits for your skin. But otherwise, again, this is a, a very simple formula. Again, we see rosemary leaf extract, which people can have uh, different opinions on, but I would say it's, it's quite light in here. So to give you all my final thoughts, I did really enjoy using these products. I think they're nice and cosmetically elegant. I think the regimen, the three products together, is very easy and intuitive to use. I was actually kind of worried about cleansing my skin twice a day. If you're a subscriber, you know I don't typically do that, but this was such a gentle cleanser that it worked. It worked. I'm happy with my skin in the end. If you're interested in trying out these products without committing to the full sizes, they also have a sampler set, and you know I love sampler sets. It's $50 for minis of the three products. I'll link it in the description box below if you're interested, or again, you could just try out the product that I think stands out the most. I do think the serum is the most standout, so you get to try the vegan collagen, you get to try their Hyluro set complex, and uh, it's very cosmetically elegant, and I think it'll work for all skin types. So do you really need the full regimen? Well, I think that really depends on each person's goals. I say that partially because, again, I think that this moisturizer, I don't think it's enough for dry skin types, and I don't know if everybody needs to run out and try a brand new cleanser. But are they still well done products? Yes. And again, what I respect the most by far the most with this brand is that, it, again, it's not the same old, same old on repeat. It's not just introducing hyaluronic acid and niacinamide. Have you heard of these ingredients? Yeah, we have. We've, we've seen them in a million products. No, Scarlett Johansson and assumedly her team behind her recognized that uh, there's no need to release more hyaluronic acid and niacinamide products. Maybe come up with something different, something new, something, something still, uh, you know, simple for people overall. And she did that and she did it very well. But that is it. I hope this video was helpful. You all voted over this weekend for Osea as my next brand. So we are starting that one up. I will be back to you in however many weeks I decide to trial that brand. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Let me know if you've tried any of these products or if you're interested in trying them. Make sure to like and subscribe on your way out if you found this video helpful. Have a fantastic week and I will see you all next time.